welcome to my North Neat Corner. My name is Anne and I come to you from the south of Norway. Here I live with my husband and our three boys. And this is my little corner of the internet where I talk about knitting. So if you love knitting as much as I love knitting, I hope that you want to join me, find your craft of choice, a good beverage perhaps, and sit down and spend some minutes together with me while I share with you what I have finished since last time and what is on my needles. You are so welcome if you have been here before and welcome if you are here for the first time. I hope you will enjoy the content here and um, yeah, what else to say? I have timestamps <laughs> on this episode as I always do. So it's easy for you to skip to whatever you want to listen to or not listen to. And I also have information about everything I talk about in the description box below this episode where you can find me on social media and information about the things I talk about, links to my Ravelry, Ravelry projects and so on. So I think that is all the admin stuff and let's just start with um, what I have finished since last time. It's a very rainy and dreary day today and I just heard some thunder so I hope that we will be good. We will just um, keep going and we'll see. But anyway, uh, let's start with FOs. I can start with what I am wearing. This is the Annelie cardigan. I showed you this as an FO last time, but I just want to show you that I have sewn on some buttons. It's just some uh, mother of pearl bu buttons that I thought went very well with the cardigan. The cardigan is a free pattern on Filkulana and uh, the designer is called Sanne Bjerregård uh, and I talked about this last time so I just wanted to show you that I have finished it with buttons as well. <laughs> oh it's really uh, pouring down and uh, I hope you can't hear the thunder but I will uh, continue. I really like thunderstorms so I think they're very cozy. <laughs> but I have another FO. I have a few today. Uh, and it's the Amata Summer Top by Mama Laget. She's a Norwegian designer and this pattern is sadly only in Norwegian. But this is my second time knitting this. I did knit this in May in an apple green sparkly color. But now I wanted it in a, a lighter color and I have knitted this in a yarn from a Norwegian hand dyer called Hettestrik. In two different colors, it's, it's her soft sock base in the color Skifri Spettet or Spettet Eir. Uh, the lightest one, Skifri Spettet, is on the lace part and on the top and on the bottom here I have the other one called Spettet Eir. I realize it's not so easy for you to understand what that is, <laughs> but it's a Norwegian name anyway. But it's a really speckly yarn with blue, blue speckles. And uh, the light one is also with blue speckles. But then the other one is a bit darker. Uh, I only did it like this because she didn't have two similar hanks. So I had to be a bit creative and just uh, fade it into each other as best I could. And I think it works. I think it looks okay. Um, I really like this lace on the arms and the... the the construction of the neck. Uh, I think it looks really good uh, and it's a lot of fun to knit. I wish, really wish it was in English so that you could take part in this beautiful pattern. Maybe one day. 
uh, it is the size 3 on needles 3 and 3.5 three and millimeters US 2.5 and 4 and it weighs 145 grams so under two skeins of yarn uh, which is great uh, and I think that's everything I'm going to say about it because I've talked about this before when I knitted it before but I'm really happy to have another one I think it looks really good I am done with the lapis from Yamagara finally after uh, several cast-ons and uh, rip-backs and uh, yes I think I've knitted uh, parts of this uh, three times but finally it's done uh, maybe not quite as I thought it would turn out but still I am happy with how it turned out in the end I have uh, knitted this in uh, yarn from the sam same hand dyer as the Amata Summertop Hette Strick in her soft sock base called Havlanne which is the, um, this uh, yarn that I've used in the chevron pattern. Uh, Havlana means sea land and this uh, silver sock base in the color Multevika uh, Mullet Bay uh, which is a little bit sparkly if you can see it. Uh, so I cast, I have knitted this before and if you have been here before you heard, heard all of this uh, so I won't go too deep into it but I've knitted this before in the size 1 uh, on needles um, 3 millimeter, I believe uh, US 2.5 and uh, was really happy with how that turned out so I won wanted another one. <laughs> So I cast it on size one with needles three millimeters as I had done before but it seemed like it would be too big so I just thought that something something had happened with the gauge with my gauge and uh, so I ripped it out cast it on again on uh, two millimeter needles US zero uh, and I took out some parts of the chart or, or repeats of the charts and try to just yeah figure it out to make it a bit smaller but that didn't turn out well <laughs> so I ripped it back and I cast on for size one one more time but on two millimeter needles and I just uh, knit it on <laughs> and I felt like that too looked a little bit big you start here with provisional cast on uh, in the middle and then you knit the chevron part and you knit the back and the front separately and then you gather it together here with three needle bind off uh, but um, uh, oh, my kids are walking and I get so distracted by the sounds I'm sorry what was I going to say? Yeah, you use three needle bind off on the shoulders to put it all together and then you take the needles or the provisional cast on and off and put the needles on, in, or something like that. <laughs> and then you knit the, the rib. And um, like I said, I felt it was a little bit too big when I was working on the chevron and everything. But when I gathered it and did the three needle bind off, it turned out a lot smaller than I thought. So what I'm thinking is maybe I should ha have trusted myself and just kept on going with size one and three millimeter needles. And it would have turned out as the other one I have. Uh, because it just feels like it was uh, cinched in a bit when you gather the whole thing, if that makes sense. So I should have just done that. And now I'm really eager to cast on another one and do that just to see if it will turn out okay. 
so maybe I will do that. I don't know. I do really love this uh, uh, this uh, top and how it looks. Uh, it looks a little bit different than the other one, of course, because it's smaller and the chevron is now across uh, my bust. On the other one, it's a little bit uh, below and on the original, it is below. So, um, yeah. But it looks okay, I think. I like how it looks and I did a really long ribbing, which is not in a pattern. You're supposed to do a short one, but I've done a really long one at least 10 centimeters if not longer and i think it looks really good i do like it i do i just really wonder how it would be if i just started or kept knitting on the one i cast on first it weighs 167 grams so not much yarn um and uh I think that is everything I'm going to say about it, but I am really happy with it and I'm going to use it a lot, I think. And I think maybe in the future there will be one more. <laughs> we'll see. All right. I have another FO that is not here. I did try to look for it, but I think my husband has it on. So I will just put a picture in. I knitted a sweater for my husband. I knitted the Flux by Tinka Knits, which is a free pattern. Uh, and I knitted it in a beautiful yarn from Malayans called Ivy. My husband really wanted a sweater in hand-dyed yarn, and now he has one. And I think he really likes it. He has uh, worn it a lot already. Uh, and... Um, yeah, it's not much to say. It's a very straightforward raglan sweater with some garter on the arms or on the sleeves. He just wanted um, three quarter length sleeves. So they are not really long because he likes to just push them up because it's a fairly thin sweater. So you just want to push the sleeves up. So I did some decreases in the sleeves. I think maybe I could have done one or two more just so it would stay up when he pushed them up. But I asked if I was going to take it up and do it again, but he said no, so it's okay then. The only thing I'm not happy with with this sweater is that I don't like how the short rows are looking. I have done the short rows just as I always do. It was the sh German short rows, uh, but still it doesn't look good. Like when I do it on the, um, the wrong side of the work, when you do the purl stitch and in the double stitch or the, where you do the turn and you, when you're knitting the turn together, uh, it doesn't look so good. So I don't know why someone said that maybe it's because of the yarn, because it's a super wash yarn, it's a thin yarn, and it looks better when it's a woolly, woolly yarn, which is a bit thicker and it closes the gaps more, if that makes sense. So maybe that's right. I am a little bit disappointed that it doesn't look so good. So I did try to just um, use some... Um, or just dupli duplicate stitch over and try to make it look better. I don't know if it helped, maybe a little bit, but uh, it's okay, it's on the back and he doesn't really care. He doesn't study my work to see that it's perfect, so that's okay. <laughs> so that's the flax sweater. It weighs, how much do it weigh? 265 grams. So I have a whole skein a little, and a little bit more left so I have to find something to knit with that yarn sometime in the future. My last FO today is uh, some socks I cast on after the last episode and I have just finished them. They are still a little damp because I washed them. Ah. And it's the Seaborn Socks by Hanna Lübben, her knitwear. And it has this beautiful shell 
border, which is the same as her summer top called Seaborn Tea, which I've knitted before and accidentally, <laughs> without me even thinking about it, that is also in white and green. Uh, this is Filkulana Avetta that, that I've knitted this in, in color number 100, which is, which is white and number 105, slate green. Uh, they weigh 43.4 grams, so not a lot of yarn goes into these. Only 8 grams for the stripes, so it's easy to use some leftovers for it. Uh, I knitted the size 3 on 2.25 millimeter needles, US 1. And uh, they were so much fun to knit. They go by really fast. I really enjoy to knit this shell pattern. And since there are stripes, it goes by really fast because I just want to get to the next stripe and the next one. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend this pattern. It's really fun and fast. Um, there are some tips to how you can do the jugglers so to not get those um, because you knit in a spiral when you knit and um, then the stripes won't be jugglers so there are um, you get the stripe over the other one instead of like getting them to go even if that makes any sense at all. But uh, I did what she um, recommends in the pattern and I'm sure that is very smart, but I just didn't, um, I think maybe I have tightened the, the yarn a bit too much. So I gotten this kind of stripe in my uh, sock uh, where I have uh, changed the yarn. So on the other socks, I just did what I usually do to avoid jugless or to get the jugless stripes. Yes, I don't. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. Uh, yes, but I try. So I have done this only on the back, and. You can still see that there are some strange things going on here. But it's on the back of the foot, so it's okay. Uh, and I don't mind really. And I think that's also because uh, there's this yarn that I maybe have uh, just tightened a bit too much. I think that's why it doesn't work out. But that's okay. They are only socks and they're going to be on my feet though. So. I don't mind. I think they look good. Let's see what's on the needles. I think that all the things that I'm knitting on right now are new cast on since last time, except for the blankets. They are still in hibernation, waiting for scrap yarn. The first one I'm knitting on is the Tanka Tea by Annie Yuti Knits. I've knitted this before, but I really wanted another one because I love that pattern so much and the, the top that it gives you. Uh, this is Drop Spell in the color Sink. It is number seven, I believe. Uh, this is a lot of fun to knit. It has a really fun construction and uh, uses uh, short rows to, to shape the front and the back, which I think looks really nice. I think this is the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have this nice garter panels on the top and then you are just knitting in uh, the round for the rest of the body when you have gathered it together. I'm knitting the size 2 on 3 millimeter needles US 2.5 and um, yeah the other one that I've knitted I use a lot it's just like an easy 
sure to take out of the out of the closet to use for everything so i use it a lot at home i use it when i go out i i really enjoy the boxy fit that it gives so i am excited to have another one of those uh, and unlike many people i think um because i think many people not really love summer knitting but i do i love all the summer garments i want to knit all of them i want to knit several of each one and um yeah my summer top tea tank uh, wardrobe is uh, boosting it's a lot and it's going to be more because i think it's so much fun to knit so I love to lo I love to knit the woolly things, but I uh, I really enjoy the summer knits as well. But my next cast on is a woolly woolly cardigan because I knitted the Eva cardigan a while back in a color I didn't really like, but I had it in my stash and I really wanted to use it so. I knitted the Eva cardigan from Petite Knit, uh, but I have sold that one. <laughs> so now I can knit myself another one in a color I really, really love in a yarn I adore. This is Hillesvog Tinde. In this beautiful petrol color. Uh, this is 100% Norwegian wool. It smells delicious. <laughs> And I really like this color. So here is my Eva cardigan so far. And I think it looks really nice. I'm so excited. Uh, it has this really nice construction. Uh, ah, yeah. So, um, I find that really interesting when things are not um like standard this is really something you have to think a little bit about when you start and um, yeah it's really fun and interesting but now i have uh, gathered everything together and split for sleeves and everything so now it's only back and forth and that is not so much fun but that's how it is I am knitting the size small. Last time I knitted the size medium, but I decided that I want a cardigan that's a little bit more fitted, not as oversized. Uh, and uh, I'm knitting on 2.5 and 3 millimeter needles, which is US 1.5 and 2.5. And I just adore this color and this yarn, and it's going to be wonderful. Mm, it smells lovely. <laughs> and maybe I'm the only one that smells on wool but I love I love how it smells my last one is, an, is another summer top but I think it's going to be a great trans transitional very difficult word trans transitional piece I can use it in the fall as well I think and it's the tonight's top by Lily Kate Makes or Lily Kate Franz on YouTube, Instagram, Ravelry, all the places. And it looks so good. I'm in love with this one. I can't wait to, to have it done. Uh, I am knitting this in a sock yarn from Garn Boutique in Fortuna called Slitets Cathedral. Really dark and moody color. And um, Slitets Cathedral, Cathed Cathedral, I can translate it for you. It's the Cathedral of Toil. It's the colorway name. I'm knitting the size 3 on needles 2 and 2.5 millimeters, US 0 and 1.5. Now it's really 
A lot of thunder outside. I hope you can't hear it, that it won't disturb you. It has this um, eye neck. I don't know if you call it. Uh, I don't know what you call it actually, but it's a high neck <laughs> and it looks really nice. I've tried it on and I really like how it fits. I have another uh, summer top from um, Lily Kate called the brightest tea. I've knitted three of them and I really enjoy her pattern writing and the fit of the garment is perfect and I think this is going to be just as good uh, and again a fun construction uh, it has this double knitted um, edging on the arms and it took a lot of time to knit this <laughs> it was not a lot of fun but it just turns out so good so it's uh, absolutely worth it uh, I have to do the other one. I haven't done that yet, but maybe tonight. And then I just have a little bit more on the body and I'm done. So oh, I just look at this. I really, really love this colorway. I think it looks so good and it's going to be perfect under a cardigan or something like that. So excited for this. Um, did I say size 3? I think so. It is an option with the bust darts, but she recommends uh, only bust darts for a certain um, bust measurement. So, so then according to her, I don't need it. So I will skip the bust darts on this one. And yeah, I can't wait to have this done. So excited I'm excited for all my knits so that's a good thing I guess <laughs> and that is everything uh, on my needles uh, I don't have any yarn joy this episode I haven't bought any yarn uh, I've just enjoyed all that I have in my stash and the things that I bought at the knitting festival in June so I'm excited to knit all of that up uh, and I have some plans, but uh, I want to knit um, a, like a vest or a summer top. No, I think a vest, uh, a top from Jorge Locatelli. I can't remember the name of it right now, but you will see it when I start knit, start knitting on it. And of course, there are a lot of plans. Uh, we'll see comes on the needles next more summer garments i promise you <laughs> i'm so excited for all of them but i do love my wool so or the woolly wool so there will be some when the fall is coming it looks like it is fall already but it is supposed to be summer anyway I just want to say thank you so much for being here. If you have uh, taken the time to sit down with me for a while, I really appreciate that you use some of your precious time together with me. Uh, thank you for all your beautiful comments, for your thumbs up and for subscribing. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me out a lot, um, making me able to spread some knitting joy to more people, which I love. So um, until we talk again, uh, which might be three or four weeks now because I'm going on a trip, uh, but then I will have a lot of things to show you, I hope. Uh, but until then, I hope that you are knitting on something fun or crocheting or sewing, uh, enjoying some good weather, hopefully. <laughs> and that you take care of yourself and the people around you. And I will see you again next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.